From higher GCSE, you should be used to expanding double brackets. So, if I'm asked to expand and simplify this double bracket, and there are thirds involved, it's done in precisely the same way as you would expand double brackets. So, depending on how you were taught, you might use a grid, you might use uh, arrows. Okay. The arrows might look different depending on uh, who taught you and how you were, uh, how you learnt it. So. Let's see how it goes. We've got to multiply every term in the first bracket by every term in the second bracket, effectively. So let's start with the 3 times 4. So we've got 3 times 4, which we know is 12. We've then got 3 times minus 3 root 5. So 3 times minus 3 root 5 would be minus 9 root 5. Okay, the 3 times 3 makes the 9. Then we've got the 2 root 5 times the 4. So that would make 8 root 5. And then the more difficult part is the 2 root 5 times the minus 3 root 5. So let's just do that over here. So we've got 2 root 5 times by 3 root 5. I'll ignore the negative sign for the moment. Now, if you reorder that, you've got 2 times 3 times root 5 times root 5. Now we know that 2 times 3 is 6, and we know that root 5 times root 5 is 5. So 6 times 5 would be 30. So 2 root 5 times minus 3 root 5 is minus 30. So this is what we have. So then we can say, well, okay, well we've got 12, take away 30. Okay, I'm going to deal with those integers first. 12 take away 30 is going to be minus 18. And then I've got minus 9 root 5 plus 8 root 5, which would be minus 1 root 5. But we don't like writing the minus 1, it's like writing 1x, okay? So we're going to write it as minus root 5. And that would be as far as I can simplify it, okay? And that would be how we would do it.